uh, Sab and JJ, can you just talk about that run you guys had in, I think, at the end of the third quarter where you scored 11 of 13 in a row, a couple threes, just to get some cushion for you guys? Are you talking to me? Oh. Um, yeah, I mean, w we talked about it um, right before the timeout, just understanding we had to go in and make a push. Um, and, and we did that. We were able to get stops defensively. Um, and, and get great looks offensively. Obviously, understanding transition offense is one of our best offenses. And so um, being able to get stops and run in transi transition, Jay had some big shots. Um, we were able to get down low, continue to move the ball, and went on a really big run there that really helped us to finish the game. Uh, just a question for JJ. Uh, being used in a lot of pick and rolls this year, and today you have eight assists, a lot of them coming off that pick and roll. How is seeing the floor, if at all, different than either from the post or popping out? Because it seemed, you know, you transitioned pretty smoothly. Yeah, I mean, just understanding that teams are going to gonna send people at me and send bodies at me. So um, just being ready to make the next pass. And I trust my teammates to make those shots. So uh, just keeping the game simple, man. Sandy, um, part of the vision that you and, and Jonathan sold to John Quell to come here when you did was she would have this opportunity to show how multifaceted her game is. I mean, she put up almost a triple-double tonight. So I guess how satisfying is this for you to see that vision that you know you had when you were talking to her when you were come true? Yeah, no, it's awesome. Uh, number one, like I said, I've said it multiple times, she's a, an amazing human being. Even when, yes, last year when it was, you know, slow to get her going, she stayed, you know, locked in. You know, we stayed, kept her confidence because we knew, um, you know, she's a former MVP. So it's not that she's not a great player already and, and it's just learning to play with each other. But hers was more about health and now, you know, we've worked it out too. It's about us. I think the chemistry that these two here, um, have grown this year, uh, certainly helps us go to a, a, a different level. And the rest of it is she's just a skilled big player. I mean, it's pretty fun to watch when she can shoot threes, she can do a transition, you know, a little bit of a Euro step and, and pass it to her teammates. This is something that she's al always had and, um, and we're trying to find ways to continue to grow it, but this is JJ's taken ownership of it. You and John Quell uh, have, as, as Jackie was just talking about, built that connection together. You have now assisted to her 46 times, and the rest of the team combined has assisted to her just 39 times. Uh, I know that... Better buy me lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you guys are playing together more in the pick and roll this year, but how has that chemistry developed here in year two? Well, first, I mean, um, just my belief in her. I think she understands how much I believe in her, um, you know, through the good and the bad. You know, we've had to figure it out. I've had to figure out ways to continue to better my passing and in, in trying to get her open, figure out where she thrives. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, I want to see her succeed just as much as she does. And so for me, it's just obviously using my ability to pass and score to create for her, for the rest of my teammates. And um, when you play with someone as, as good as her, it makes my job easy. I just come off a screen and make a decision. And so I think, you know, you're, you're able to see it click now. Um, but there were times where we just had to figure it out, you know, ways to get her the ball. And that's part of the growth of this team is we're starting to really understand one another without having to communicate and that you know it goes to show when we're able to play like this and um, continue to get better but I'd say we haven't even really scratched the surface like we're just getting started on you know ways that we can continue to help one another and it's exciting to know that yep double J just for you you shooting 44 percent from three you want to be in three-point contest with Sabrina at the all-star game and um, look I always say when they invite me I'll, I'll do it so if they if they invite me, I'll, I'll beat her too. Yeah. Who said I was doing it? <laughs> Who said I was doing Here it? Here we go. <laughs> Don't break us up now. <laughs> nah, we good, we good. But yeah, if they, if they invite me, I'll do it for sure. Hi, everybody. Um, for Sandy, Ivana gave you guys a lot of really good minutes off the bench. What did you make of her game tonight, and how do you think she can sort of build on this going forward? Yeah, look, it, I thought it was great. Um, you know, we felt Sabrina, you know, had to, without B there, we lost her handler. And, um, you know, it was a, a chance for Evie to play a little bit more. And uh, she's always staying ready. This is a, a player that's played, you know, overseas at a high level for so long. Um, and it was great for her to just to go out and be who she is. 
and help us at both ends of the floor, uh, making shots, being the one, being the two, being able to be versatile. I think Sabrina and her, you know, they understand each other w quite well. I think she has confidence playing with Sabrina and, and we need that, you know, when you're down a handler, you need someone else that can take a little bit of pressure off uh, Sabrina. She can't do it all game. She probably could, but we don't want her to. <laughs> Hey, Coach, uh, Leonie Fiebisch had her first start because of B being out. Obviously, she didn't shoot her best, but she had a really nice impact on the defensive end in this game. Just what did you make of her start? Yeah, no, I, I thought it was great. Um, you know, we, we rave about her all the time, and it doesn't always show on the stat sheet. She made one massive three down the end when the game got a little close there. Um, she's probably mad at some of the other shots she missed, but it's the impact that she does on the defensive end. It's her versatility. She reads well off these players. She's a great rebounder. Doesn't all the little things well um so yeah no she i thought she had a really good game as a starter sandy what did you think of the defense i guess generally without um Benijah, who you you all have kind of called your anchor in the past and what were some of the different points or, or things you were looking for to make sure it was all clicking without her yeah it wasn't really always clicking um it wasn't you know it wasn't always pretty but credit um la i think we got a little sloppy when we got the lead and and transition defense there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one and just our mindset and being prepared all the time um pick and roll defense you know we had to switch it up a little bit with what we wanted to do we were getting exploited but the more we can be at the point of the screen the more we can have activity the better we are um so we get to play them again and, and Hopefully we'll have a better effort, but we had enough to obviously to secure a win. Getting any win at home is always important. Um, I wanted to ask all three of you guys: oh, Does this feel a little bit more special? You know, um, you know, bringing it home for SLU in these despairing times. You know, does this win mean a little bit more than you know just average win at home? Yeah, I mean, you know, we've been playing for her um, for a lot of our games now, and obviously she's a big part of our team, but. Um, you know, anytime we come together, I think it, it just shows, um, you know, why we play and what's really important in life. And um, obviously just wrapping our arms around her and her family in this time is important. Obviously, I know we know how much she wants to be here and, and be able to, to play for us. And so, you know, we're wanting to do our best to, to play for her because she's a huge part of this team and we can't wait for her to come back. Just to piggyback off that, I mean, obviously the crowd heard tonight what you guys probably knew for a couple of days. I mean, what does it mean that the fans showed love for Salute who wasn't here and, and you guys stayed out obviously and heard the moment of silence and the reaction the fans had to it? Yeah, I think it's just, it just goes to show that we're a family, you know, and um, as much as we love basketball and we understand that it's a business and it's our jobs and everything, like, um, it kind of makes you put things into perspective and understand that, you know, there's a lot of other things going on in life. Um, but ultimately, we, we want to support her, and that's through the organization. It's through the fans, obviously, and um, it's us going out there and playing hard to make sure that she comes back and she feels like she can take how much ever time she needs to get back to her full self. Hello, all. Congrats on the win tonight. Uh, Coach, my question will be for you. Um, you know, you talk so much about the depth you've had in this team this year, but at the end of the day, two of your headliners, John Quell posts a career best in assists, Sabrina posts 31 points, tying for the most 30-point games in Liberty history tonight. So what does it mean to you to have a team where the headliners show, where the headliners, for lack of a better term, show up when it's needed most and really get things rolling and change momentum? What does it mean to have that group of headliners to you? Yeah, I mean, obviously it means a lot. I mean, we've got some really talented players and, um, you know, these two lead the way and it's, I think JJ talked about it, this is their job of their resp responsibility and the expectations that we have of them every single day to come in and they, they know what they need to do to, to help us win. So it's them just taking ownership for their own performances and then for this team performances. And what I've been really, really proud of uh, these two, especially with Stewie, is their leadership. Um, you know, continually to grow that, like we talk about family, with building those deeper connections. I think when you have that, you're able to, to play even better on court. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.